<laughs> I love it. G'day everyone and welcome back to the Warthog Project. Today's video is just going to be a really quick one. Most importantly to say goodbye to 2022 and to say thank you to the 50,000 subscribers we now have. I can't believe it, it's awesome. 50,000 is ridiculous. So thank you to everyone who likes and subscribes these videos. It's good to see that people still like a bit of um, cockpit building. It's not dead, despite what all the VR people tell you. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go over what I plan for... 2023 so first thing that's going to happen is probably end of january start of february this whole thing is going to go in the hangar for a little bit so i'm going to pull the entire thing apart screens coming out of this room cockpits going out back into the garage and the entire room is getting redone so all the walls and the roof are going to get painted in black um the blinds are getting replaced with a black one and then there'll be a blackout curtain across the whole thing so every single thing in here will be blacked out projectors are going to come out the speakers will be painted black so hopefully it will improve the contrast and the immersion in here the light bleeding into the room washes out the projectors a little bit but if i have the ability to make it completely black i think it'll make it cool it'll also hide this little overspill that you get sometimes i've also got some more wall art planned so i've got these two framed i'm going to get something better than that photo to put there uh, and I've got some more models in the works. That's a 148 F14 up there and there's two Hornets just here. Uh, I've got an F35 on the workbench. I've got an F14D still in the box and I've got about three A10s in the box. So there'll be a whole bunch of A10s maybe lined up here with different markings on them and that should be pretty cool. While the cockpit's out of the room, it's going to get a repaint. So there's a video that I'll link where I painted the whole outside of it in this green. I do like the green. I just don't think it really goes with anything else in the room. The thing I loved about it is the yellow markings and it's just the angle that you're on. You never, you can't actually see them anyway. So it's going to get repainted as a Flying Tigers jet, just a standard grey A10. I'll put a whole bunch of combat markings on it and then I'll probably put some, some Flying Tigers teeth on the inside down there somewhere. It'll be like those teeth right there but on the front of it. Uh, also, when it's out of the cockpit, I'm going to redesign the seat mechanism. So it's on a car seat rail now. It only comes back about that far. I'm probably going to extend the floor out about that far, and I'm going to have it on a longer seat rail with a linear actuator. So you can push a button and it'll slide the whole way out of the cockpit to let you get in and out a lot easier instead of having to climb over the consoles. It's pretty easy for me to climb over the consoles because I'm 6'4". Um, my kids and that can't do it. It's real awkward for them to get in. So I think if the seat comes the whole way out, they'll be able to jump in easier. Uh, I'll put a button down here to actuate it and I'll put a button down on the front to close it. That's also being implemented so the seat can come the whole way back and then I can reach the beer fridge and get a beer out of it without having to get out of the seat. Uh, another couple of little things I've got planned. So I've, I found this really cool little trackball mouse. It's literally like two centimeters by two centimeters big. I'm gonna implement it in this console down here. So down in there somewhere there'll be a hidden trackball mouse. Nobody, you won't be able to see it, it'll be black, it'll be hidden, but I'll know it's there so it'll save me for like menus in the game and that sort of stuff. I can just reach down there and do it. I'm also implementing another another little hidden rotary encoder in here for the night vision goggle gain up and down. And also throughout 2023, hopefully I'll get the parachute container done. I need to fix that, snapped off. It's one of them. I'll get the fabric done up here. I'll get the fabric sewn down here. I'm trying to get some seat belts that look realistic. I'd like to get some real ones, but I'll get some seat belts on there to fill that gap a little bit. And also little things around the cockpit will be changed. So I'm gonna have new fire handles printed. Um, I've got a resin 3D printer now, so I'll do a, design them a little bit more realistic and I'll be able to resin 3D print them. And then the big ticket item is gonna be the throttle. So my plan is to completely remove the thrust mode the throttle and design and build my own, uh, a little bit more realistic. Um, although it's a pretty close representation of an A10 throttle it's just not tall enough the, the handles are supposed to be out here somewhere um, if you see a picture of this and a real throttle side by side you'll know exactly what I mean so I'll make it the right width so it fits in the rest of the cockpit I'll put a proper magnetic switch in the EAC and I'll redesign the handles so they're nice up and high I'm, I'm trying to find a bricked throttle that I can use the handles for but I've come to the conclusion that I'll never be able to find one because the ones that I do find are in the States and the shipping I might as well buy a new one in Australia because the shipping is so expensive because they're so heavy. And I don't really want to buy a new one just to completely destroy it. I think that's a waste of good hardware. So what I'll do is I will 3D design my own handles, I'll resin 3D print them, and I'll remake my own one. 
Uh, another thing I'm going to implement this year is hopefully the IFF panel. The IFF panel is a real one. It's not implemented at the moment. I will rip it out, chuck an Arduino in it, and hopefully get that working. Anyway, that brings us to the end of this one. Again, thanks so much to all the people that have liked and subscribed over the last year. I can't believe we hit 50,000 subscribers. It's the coolest thing. If you had told me five years ago that I'd have 50,000 subscribers, I wouldn't believe you. You're all legends. I do appreciate you. And thanks very much for keeping me motivated to continue making this thing. The Twitch stream is awesome. If Honestly, if I wasn't Twitch streaming, I'd probably be bored of this thing by now. But it's the community that makes it great fun. If you haven't followed me on Twitch, please come and do it. I play on public servers all the time. It's great to get a whole bunch of A-10s or mix some other aircraft in there and we can all go out and cause some trouble. It's great fun. It also inspires me to drink more beer. I've also been streaming on Twitch a lot of Pavlov VR, Escape from Pavlov. It's a mod for Pavlov VR that makes it like Escape from Tarkov. It's the best. Please come and watch it sometimes. Gun. I can't believe I dropped my gun over there. Fuck. Good game, good game. So once again, thanks to everyone that subscribed, the absolute legends. I hope you all have a fantastic 2023, and I will see you all throughout the year. See you, legends. A lot of the Twitch chat sometimes wants me to do this in a bikini, so we'll do that. I'm also planning on waterproofing the room so I can fill it with water, and then we can have like a hot tub stream with like an inflatable banana and I can write your names on my forearms and on my chest while I'm flying. <laughs>